Tonight, we're going to try and make contact with the spirit of Lucy so that we can figure out why she's haunting this house so we can help her move on. But we also need to identify this negative entity who's slamming doors and terrorizing the little girls who live here. So as a precaution, we've asked the entire family to go sleep at Grandma Dorothy's tonight. Okay. Here we go. Good luck, channel two on the radio. Let's do it. Okay. So of course, this is the main room. This room here is Taylor's. Oh, and there's a cat. Hi. I'm set this down. Let's see if we can get this to settle out. I'm feeling the feminine presence. Lucy, are you here with us? Hey, Lucy. My name's Ben. This is my friend, Sarah. Your family went through something horrific. Absolutely horrific. I can't imagine what that was like. Some reason you're still here in the neighborhood and not back and rejoined with your family. Could you come into the room if you're here, please? Lucy, is that you? OK, you can stop. Is something scaring you? Lucy, it's going to start amplifying. You got, you got that look in your eye. It's going to amplify. I've never heard that noise. I was told to get down. Whoa. We're hiding. She wants us to get down. There's someone else here. As soon as we were able to communicate with Lucy, something scared her. I could hear her. She was saying, get down. Lucy, like this. Do you want us to get down like this? Please back away from this. Make this stop. If you're wanting us to get down, are you wanting us to get all the way down? I keep picturing that moment right before the murderer walked into Lucy's room. Her trying to just get down, her trying to hide. It's almost like she's trying to protect us from her own murderer. I think we should move. I think okay. we should move. You think it's in motion? Yeah. Let's try the doll room. Okay. Since one of the dolls here looks so much like Lucy's doll from the crime scene, we're going to use it as a trigger object to try and communicate with her spirit. So Lucy, there's all these dolls in here. There's one that I'd like to show you. I want to see if it reminds you of the doll you once had. Sarah, I am here. Perfect. So can you please come into the room with me? Lucy, can you come to me? I have a question for you. You can come as close as you want to the doll. Does this doll look like your doll? I mean, do you want to talk? It's the same thing. I am here. That's it. Are you sure that it's Lucy, Sarah? Whenever I ask a question, I tap in, and then I hear, I am here. It's just, I am here. So I don't know if it's Lucy. Other energies can answer 100% any medium's question. That's why you should never mess with the spirit world. That, that concerns me. Yeah. Would there be some question we could ask that only Lucy would know? Is there anybody here that knows Riley? You know, sound of the room. 
Was it growling in the other room? Growling? You know. That that's it, guys. I've heard enough. I'm coming. I'm not feeling comfortable with this. Sorry. You heard a growl? There was a growl in the kitchen. So EMF meter spiked, REM pod goes off, you hear a growl. What did you just say right before here? If there was anybody else here that knew Riley. Not only did y'all hear a growling, I heard a growling. You heard it? Yeah, it's the coming from that room in there. I don't feel comfortable with this at all. Spirits don't growl. Where's REM pod? You the REM pod? Yeah, bring me the REM okay, pod. I got the REM pod. We don't want this stuff flying off the shelf somewhere. We're putting this in the stove for right now. I have a theory, and I want you to answer this theory for me. We have a guy. He murdered three children, right? Right. Is it possible if he took such pride in what he'd done or when he died, could he come back here? Yes. Yeah, it's possible. I'm addressing the spirit that we heard growling in here. I demand you to reveal yourself. You were growling for a reason. We need to know why. I have to go in the other room. We're scaring the little girl. OK. Lucy, it's OK. Come in here with Sarah. You come in here with Sarah. Did you murder Lucy? Are you Roy Mejia? There we go. We? are going to free these children from your grasp. And there's not a damn thing you can do about it. Does that piss you off? I want you to stay in here with me, Lucy. If that's you, you need to stay in. Son of a OK, I'm not cool with that. OK, What's what do wrong, I Sarah? do? What's wrong? I just got the back of my shirt grabbed. Your shirt grab? Yeah, I got my shirt grab. Do you know yeah. who it was? No, I was just talking to Lucy and keeping her safe. I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Sarah, I can't do this with you in here because you, you, you're you so you're too vulnerable. Well, I can't have the little girl be by herself either. OK, all right. I think I have an idea. The murderer that killed Lucy and her family thrives off of fear, and I think he's still stalking her. He likes to scare Lucy, and he likes to scare the little girls that live in this house, but we need to show him that he cannot scare us. As both a demonologist and an ordained minister, I'm going to do a cleansing and remove this evil spirit from this home. In the name of God Almighty, I command the spirit of Roy Mejia to leave this home. You are evil, and I condemn you back to hell where you belong. I banish the murderer of the Verrett family from ever stepping foot in this house again. Go to the foot of the cross for judgment. You are to never return. I now close any portals in this place so that evil spirits may no longer enter into our realm. I now vanquish you from this home. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen.